Hello, I'm Scott. I'm your guide through the series of Deep Dives with Logos. In each video, I'll highlight some of the best features of Logos 10. And today, I want to show you the convenience of layouts. Now, as you use Logos, you'll open and close many panels in the main application workspace. You'll probably want to use certain panels in a particular arrangement regularly. For example, you might want to have a Bible and a commentary and a passage guide open together. Now, the way you lay out the books and tools you need for study can be saved with a tool called Layouts. I liken Layouts to taking a digital picture of the arrangement of your books and tools and then bringing back those books and tools the next time you need them. I will show you how to create your own layouts, but first, I want to show you some of the prearranged layouts to make study quick and easy. So let me share my screen and show you the power of layouts. So here we see Logos 10, and I want you to notice the bottom left corner of the screen, and there is the button that says Layouts. Now, you'll notice two sections here. There are quick start layouts. These are the pre-arranged layouts built into Logos 10, and then saved layouts are the ones that you create, which we'll do here in a few moments. But look at the quick start layouts. I've got Bible and a commentary. I've got Bible journaling. Maybe you want some help with your quiet time in the morning as you journal through the biblical text. I've got a Greek word study layout, Hebrew word study layout. I can study Proverbs, Psalms. I can do a topic study. But let me show you what one of these quick start layouts looks like. I'm going to open up the passage study layout. And what you'll notice when the layout opens is that it opens the passage guide tool. I've got the fact book. I've got three of my favorite Bibles and a commentary ready to go. So again, we're arranging on the screen the tools and the books you need to accomplish this particular task. So that's the power of the quick start layouts. Now, let me show you how to... Uh, also access layouts through Scott's favorite feature, Factbook. So let me launch Factbook. I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, 1 Peter 1, and let me select Be Holy in All Your Conduct. That's the pericope that I want to focus on. And as you know, the great thing about Factbook is quickly uh, I get commentary access. Uh, I can scroll down and get media uh, events mentioned, so on and so forth. But a pretty new update as of August is this new section called Dig Deeper. And what we've added to the Dig Deeper section is layouts. And you'll notice for studying a passage, these are the four layouts that would be beneficial. Bible in a commentary, Bible journaling, passage study, or a study Bible. Now, let me launch Bible and Commentary. So when I click this layout, what you're going to see on the screen is my preferred translation, which is the ESV. So you may have set your preferred translation to something else, but it would be your preferred Bible and a commentary side by side. And you'll notice that as I scroll through my Bible, the commentary stays right with me. Now, because you're part of the deep dive series, let me show you a power user trick in Logos. Now, I want you to notice that uh, in this layout, there are two panels open. There's the Bible and I have a commentary. Now, even though your eyeballs can see two panels, Logos is paying particular attention to one of these panels right now. We call it the active panel. And the way you know which is the active panel is by the orange bar right above the tab. So if I come over here into the commentary and click, you'll notice the orange bar moves over to this commentary. Now, this is important because of this amazing feature that I'm going to show you in Logos. Now, I'm going to make the Bible my active panel. And again, I'm in the ESV. You can see that up there in the left-hand corner. But with the Bible as my active panel, as I've read the text in the ESV, watch what happens now when I take my finger and hit the right arrow key on the keyboard. Here we go. Logos just did what? It went to the New American. I'm going to hit the right arrow key again. Just went to the New Living Translation. Hit the right arrow key again. Just went to the New King James. So what Logos is doing 
is going through a circle of my Bibles. And first it'll go through your preferred Bibles, and then it'll go through the rest. Now, if you hit the left arrow, it'll go back. So it's a circle in either direction. Now that's great to be able to read multiple translations instantly, but where it's incredibly valuable is I'm now going to make the commentary my active panel by simply clicking inside the commentary we notice the orange bar so here's the new american commentary i've read what it has to say on this particular passage i'm going to take my finger hit the right arrow key i'm now in tyndale click the right arrow key and again i'm in hermenea so again it's going through a circle of my commentaries. This will save you countless hours of time when you're wanting to read multiple translations or multiple commentaries. So amazing little trick. A lot of people didn't know it was in there. Uh, and I use this all the time, especially with this layout called Bible and a commentary. Uh, so again, you can access layouts through the layouts button here, or you can access layouts through the fact book and the dig deeper section. But let me show you how to create your own layout. So I'm going to go into my library right now, and I'm going to open up some Bible dictionary. So I simply typed Bible dictionary, and I'm going to go ahead and open up, let's say, Easton's, Harper's, uh, and uh, Anchor Yale. Uh, actually, not Lexum. Let me uh, let me open up three because I want to create multiple uh, um, links. So here we go. I'm going to now open up multiple trans uh, multiple Bible dictionaries. Uh, let's go ahead and have three on the screen, and I instantly see a problem, if you will. Uh, Anchor is on top of Harper's. I would rather them side by side. Now you could move the tabs around and you know take you a couple seconds or so to get it to the exact way you want. But go to the layouts button, and maybe you noticed when I went here earlier that up at the very top there are these little kind of views on how you could arrange the books. And and the way I want them arranged right now is vertically. So I'm gonna click that button and logos instantly does that it, it just put my three dictionaries vertically side by side now this is a great layout but there's one other thing i want to do i want to go ahead and link the dictionaries together so i'm going to click this button here and i'm going to i'm going to do link set a i'm going to do it for each bible dictionary so link set A, link set A, link set A. So now when I want to go to, let's say, an article on David, type in David in any Bible dictionary and what happened to all three? They all went to the article on David. So this is a great layout that I would uh, recommend you create because when I'm studying a particular topic, I love to read multiple Bible dictionaries. And depending on how big your screen is, you maybe could have 10 Bible dictionaries side by side, link them all together. And again, when you type one word in any dictionary, all the dictionaries will go ahead to the same article. Now, I've arranged the books in the way that I want them to work and be viewed on my uh, screen. So I want to save this. So again, once you've got the arrangement of your books, maybe some tools and so on, but this is the way I like it, go to layouts. And now I'm going to, you notice right here, I'm looking at the screen. We see a little preview snapshot of the arrangement of the layout I created. And now what I wanna do is save this as a named layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and call this deep dive, okay? And I'm going to hit enter. And so now tomorrow, when I jump back into Logos and I want to do a little study on uh, Esther, okay, I'm going to go to layouts. And instead of quick start layouts, I go to my saved layouts and they'll be in alphabetical order. And I have a bunch of layouts, but there is deep dive and I launch it and voila, there are my three dictionaries all linked together. And again, now all I have to do is type the person place thing that I want information. And again, all of my dictionaries. Now, 
if one of the panels does not go there, that dictionary doesn't have an article on that particular person. Now, Anchor most likely does, uh, but it might be titled a little differently. Uh, so if one of them doesn't move, it simply means that either the name in that dictionary is different uh, or there might not be an article. Um, so that's what happened here. Uh, but most of the time, most dictionaries are all um, indexed the same way. And again, they'll all go to the same place. Uh, so if I go in here and let's go ahead and type in the word sin, all the dictionaries again move to that particular article. Now, let me show you one more thing in layouts. If I were to bring back layouts down the road, again, I saved it with the article of David with all three dictionaries. Now, let's say that I am doing a theological study now, and for the next couple of weeks, I'm really going to dig deep into the issue of sin, and I want it to come back to all three dictionaries to this particular uh, topic. And so notice, if I go back to layouts, uh, one of your options is to update your active layout, meaning if I click this now, which I will, the next time now that I open this particular layout, it will actually open to the article again on sin. It won't go back to David, my initial saving of the layout. It will actually go to the updated article. And so if I go down now and find a, a deep dive uh, with logos, there we go. You'll notice again that when the panels open, they open to the article on sin. So if you ever want to start afresh or start anew in a passage or a topic, be sure to update your active layout, and then it will bring it back to exactly where you left off. Uh, so hopefully, I, I hope you see the power and convenience of layouts. Uh, again, the ability to arrange on the screen not only the resources you want to use, but tools as well in the arrangement you want them. And then again, kind of taking a digital snapshot picture of that arrangement, saving it, and easily bringing it back the next time you need it for quick and awesome study in Logos 10.